Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you could subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, I am going to slap it down the holy water. Oh, it's such a nice day. So good in the neighborhood, my beautiful Pisces. Did you guys see I did an Aries reading? I, yeah, I've gotten a few requests from people that I personally know. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll do a reading for you. Mm -hmm. And I did a personal reading. You guys, uh, my friend that, you know, bought me the grill that, you know, in Kentucky that flies me around. He's just a friend. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to help him. He's dealing with, uh, you know... A particular lady and so I've been trying to help him coach him and guide him through this whole thing yeah because sometimes men I see and find don't know what to do they don't know what to say or and they don't know when a woman says certain things what that actually means so I bet it's probably that same way for men or women dealing with men too or just people dealing with people in general <laughs> so I really helped him to understand what was going on. I did a just an energy read without tarot cards, and then I did to him a tarot card reading uh, today. So, yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about what we need to talk about here. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable Judge T.T. Don presiding. You can do whatever you want. So, we're going to check in on the energy of the person you're dealing with, whatever energy you're dealing with, my beautiful loves, whatever the case is, we're going to get it, hit it, and quit it. Oh, Andrew Dice Clay is still inside my body. Mm. A lot of energy in the air today. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Just a second here. Ooh, la la la, bonsoir. Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. Hold on just a second. I need to look at this card a little bit more thoroughly here. Okay. Yes, definitely, definitely. Very interesting. Picking up a little bit off that card there right now for some odd reason. Ooh. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. I can dream about you if I can hold you tonight. I can dream about you. I don't know why that song just came through, but it came through really hard. Okay, Pisces, down on the table. We've got the Two of Cups. We've got the Moon. We've got the Five of Cups. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. The overall energy for the reading is an Ace of Wands. I picked up the strong energy here. I know it sounds weird, but... I uh, picked up an energy of a miscarriage, okay, right off the bat. <sighs> Didn't know it was happening. Didn't know it was happening. Somebody got, like, cramps. I don't know why I'm picking this up right now. But somebody got cramps here. And then they looked down, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That was, I don't know why I'm even seeing that here. <sighs> That's heavy. That's real heavy. Mm. Okay, I'm going to move on through that energy here. I just got a visual. 
All right, partnership, two cups coming together here. The moon, okay, I've seen the moon and I got, I can dream about you. I don't, that's literally what I got. So maybe somebody's dreaming about you, Pisces. All right. Hi there, Brother Lou. Yeah. Yeah, you showed up for court. Were you coming up? Well, come up, Brother Vindaloo. Yeah. He's happy today. He's excited today. He's a good boy every day. All right. Okay. Five of cups here. Okay. Somebody here uh, is ignoring something here. I don't know. Somebody here kind of ignored something. Another person uh, was pretty upset here. Okay. And I, I feel like somebody tr like ignored or didn't listen well here. Uh, your person, they could be busy with work right now. They could just be distracting themselves here. Uh, th there's just a lot going on here. Okay. I don't know. There's a lot. A lot of noise. Well, I'm picking up a lot of noise here. There's a lot of noise going on here. Okay. What's all this stuff that's going on here? What is this busy, crazy energy here that I'm that I'm feeling here? What is this busy, crazy energy? Okay. All right. At midnight. Midnight. 11.55. Okay. 11.55. Um, okay. Uh, interesting. I don't think there's anything bad on this card, but... I'm just going to go ahead. Okay. It's judgment here on the table, Pisces. Okay. This is Pluto energy here. Okay. This is, it's, it's Pluto energy, planet of Pluto. It's actually Aquarian energy. Pluto is Aquarian energy. So uh, this is all about death, rebirth, change, transformation here. Okay. So it's like... There's a, yeah, this person's trying to distract themselves, but it's like, the, the more they do that, the more they're being called here, uh, to change something here, transform things, bury things, rebirth things. So what's going on here with the Eight of Pentacles to Judgment, please? Eight of Pentacles to Judgment, please. What is this energy? Yes, they're trying really hard. This person... Hold on, I gotta find another protection stone here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it's this person. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this person is ignoring. It's like they're distracting themselves with work. They need to change. They need to transform. Okay? They know this, but they're, like, distracting themselves. They could literally be using work to distract themselves, but it's like this person is very, very stubborn, whoever this is. It's almost like they're trying to fight the universe, okay? Which you can't fight the universe. So it's like this energy of this person is like, I, I know, I'm not, not dealing with anything. They feel the pressure. The heat is on, okay? They're sweating it out, all right? Like one of Oprah's factories and whatever. Never mind, I don't know what I'm talking about. But whatever it is, they're really just, they're like, no. So the more this energy comes in, the more distracted they become, this judgment uh, energy here, which is Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel here, blowing the horn. And it's like, and every time, okay, this is the funny part. Every time the horn is blown, okay, it's like, here's the thing. This is, this is the epic part of it that I like so much. <laughs> They'll get a lot of stuff going on, right? Distracting themselves. I don't know. They're, you know, maybe they're doing five things at once here. And then the more they distract themselves, something happens. And then they got to start all over again. So it's like the universe is like, oh, you think you can fight me, mighty one? Okay. 
have fun with that. And then it's like the Torcelli's trumpet blows. And then it's like, then they like, I, they're, they're knitting, right? Say they're knitting. Like then they stab themselves in the finger and then there's blood all over what they're trying to knit here. And then they're like having to go to the bathroom, clean themselves up. And then it's like they got to start over again. So this is the, that's the funny part of it. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. This is kind of heavy right now, Pisces. I ain't going to lie. I'm getting real heavy off that. Just those three cards alone are just, it's making me feel heavy. Whew, the pressure. I feel the pressure here. I do. I feel the pressure. Okay. So what did this person ignore? What did they ignore here? What did they ignore? What did they ignore here? What was said that they ignored? They weren't having it. What, what was said that they weren't having? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was said? Mm -mm. Oh, let's get... I don't think I've ever had this Ten of Cups come out of this deck. Ever. No. Never, ever, ever. Okay, so what was said here with the Ten of Cups that they ignored? What was said here? <laughs> what was said here? They weren't having it. They weren't listening to it. No. None of it. Nope. Somebody here opened up, got very vulnerable, more than likely probably you, all right? I don't think it was them. No, it wasn't them at all. Okay, you were like, hey, I want to I be in a relationship here. I want something. And they just put the plug over their ears, and they weren't listening to none of it. It's like they probably, probably, they probably acted like, they were listening, but, like, their mind checked out. They were, like, as soon as they heard the word relationship, they were, like, they went off into la-la land, and they were, like, so, basically, their m mentality, as soon as they heard that word, they just checked out. And the more they try to ignore things from the universe, the more this person keeps being stripped back down. So, they're not going to get away with this. No, they're not going to get away with this at all, Pisces. Big bailiff's jumping up. So, what's going on with the moon here, please? Show me the moon. Oh, boy. Give me just a second. Oh, boy. I think I've had this card come out once. We're getting all kinds of new cards coming out today. The moon with the world card down here. It's Saturn energy, the planet Saturn, which is about responsibility, structures, goals, cycles, starting, stopping, completing, travel too as well. So what's going on with the moon and the world? What's going on with the moon and the world? Moon in the world. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, Pisces. There's something they're not sharing here. Okay. There's something that they're not sharing at all. And basically you're starting to starve. This person is eating all the cookies. They're not sharing no cookies with you. And look, you're starting to get a skeleton arm there and a skeleton leg. And this person is rather plump here. So there's not, there's something here they're not sharing here with this moon and the world. They're hiding something under the moon that keeps going round and round. What are they hiding, please? What is this person not sharing, please? What are they not sharing with Pisces? What are they not sharing? They're not sharing. Yep, yeah, they're not sharing anything. They're not sharing a, an opportunity here with you with the Ace of Pentacles, Pisces. They are not sharing. I don't know why they're not sharing it, but they 
are not sharing it at all. Mm -mm -mm. Oh boy, Pisces. So, basically, this person is what, what they're really not sharing here with you, basically, at the end of the day. Okay, they have false happiness, right? That person on the Four of Pentacles, the plump person, you're the skinny skeleton person. Okay, so it's like uh, they're squandering things away here. It's This is all about false happiness here. Okay, so it's like they're just being very greedy here. Somebody, it's like they want, basically what this is, is they want money, material gain over anything else. This is literally what they want. Material gain. That's all they want. They want material gain here. And they're not sharing this pentacle with you. No, no. This person's very greedy. I'm surprised the devil didn't come out here. I'm not joking you. But I can see that the more they... They're in this energy, though. The universe is putting this person under the energy of, hey, no matter how much you distract yourself with all this money here... I'm blowing the horn, so maybe, the, like, every time they do this, something happens. So, like, their roof collapses, and they're like, oh, no. Then they got to get a new roof, and then their engine blows up. So, it's like, this is the universe's way, okay, of saying, hey, this is a wake-the-truck-up moment, okay? I mean, we've all had wake-the-truck-up moments, right? I mean, it is what it is. So, yeah, this is when you get repetitive things that keep happening to you over and over again, it's the universe's set way of saying, yeah, you need to wake up here. You need to wake up here. Okay. So what's going on with the Two of Cups down here on the table in this person's energy? What's going on with the Two of Cups, please? What's going on with the Two of Cups in this person's energy, please? going on with the two of cups in this person's energy please what's going on with the two of cups in this person's energy please Whew. two of cups come on baby what's going on here two of cups with the hangman i'm gonna get let's go two of cups with the hangman for me please thank you okay Oh, boy, Pisces. Mm -mm -mm. So, basically here, this person's starting to realize, they're realizing that they're, it's like, not only are they becoming a lost soul because of their greediness and their selfishness and you know, putting all this money first before they put relationships first. They're starting to realize here that they need to um, have a, a improve their outlook on life. <sighs> yeah, so this is all about, I need to really change. I really need to change. Yep. Yeah. So, how does this person plan on changing here? How does this person plan on changing here? How does the how how does this person plan on changing? Let's go top to bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody wants to be more emotionally available here. Because this is, they're starting to realize that the, their emotional vulner, they're, they're, they hide their emotions through their money. So this person's probably got a lot of money here. All right. Or they're working towards having a lot of money here. But this person literally realizes that they need to be more emotionally available here. More emotionally in intelligent intelligent here 
yeah, there, there's a lack of emotional intelligence, and this is what they're realizing here. Oh, my goodness. What do you think, Kitty Boom Boom? She's like, I don't really care. Hey, what are you? Get out of here with your attitude. Did you hear that? Should I just ask her a question, and she just goes, maybe she just don't like this person. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just taking offense to it for no reason. All right, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to pull one card for each sign, and we're going to get the final messages, and then we're going to close this one down with the kitty boom booms for Jesse. <laughs> Pisces dealing with Pisces. I can dream about you if I can. Okay, you're a big deal, Pisces. Uh, cancer? Cancer. Um... They're freaking out right now. Scorp, 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 sure, scorp. Okay, they're going to give it one last push here, but they're they're bothered. Aries. 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 Oh. I'd like to say something really weird, but I can't. They want to scratch on your scratching post. Oh, my God. This is really weird. Oh, Leo. <laughs> oh, Leo. Oh, my God. Okay. They feel like you uh, mesh well together here. Uh, Sag, Sag, Sag. <laughs> Sagittarius is trying to move on, but they keep looking back. Libra. 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 Libra finds you to be very secure with yourself. Gemini. Gemini. Feels like you're a player. Aquarius. 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 Okay. What do we got? Okay, Aquarius is under some heavy energy right now. Just, that's it. Uh, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Virgo wants to pet your Persian kitty. Taurus. Taurus. Ooh. I find you to be very attractive. And happy cavity. how do you feel about Pisces cap? They're a little bit guarded right now. Oh my goodness. So thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tara's adjourned.